I'm Rachel Smith, and I work in the world's largest engineering consultancy. And I do something that no one else does, which is to cut traffic congestion on our roads. And I, um, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I make sure that mayors and city leaders can cut traffic congestion without the expense of new roads and annoyed residents. I spent the last 15 years working in engineering consultancies in the UK and Australia. I increased walking to school from 38% to 92% of all trips at schools that I worked with um, in Cornwall in the UK. And for general people, that means I removed more than 200 cars from around every school that I worked with. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was retained by the UK Department for Transport for six years as an expert advisor. I've spoken at more than 200 conferences around the world. I had two TED Talks, and I'd been handpicked by the Guggenheim in New York to lead the BMW Guggenheim Lab, which is a think tank in New York and in Berlin and in Mumbai. And I'll be honest with you, I was really, really frustrated because my career was a mess. And some people would say it was a, su a successful mess, but it was a mess. I didn't know how to stand out from all the other engineers in a serious economic downturn. I didn't know how to share my thought leadership, and no one in my industry knew how to do that. I was being invited every week to speak at conferences or to do presentations, and I had no idea how to transform or turn that into work. And I had two TED Talks, but no next steps. Earlier this month, I published my first book, Decongestion, Seven Steps for Mayors and Other City Leaders to Cut Traffic Congestion Without the Expense of New Roads and Annoyed Residents. I've raised my profile. I used to have 100 people read my blogs, and most of those people were people who I knew. Now I can have more than 5,000 people reading my blog. I'm in this week's Engineers Australia, or me, me and my book are in this week's Engineers Australia magazine. That's a two-page spread that goes to 110,000 engineers in my industry. My e-book will be in next week's Take 5 magazine, which is purchased by 950,000 people in Australia. And I was the cover story of my own workplace's World Weekly magazine this week, which goes to 100,000 staff and 150,000 clients around the world. Thank you. <laughs> I'm now being invited and paid to speak at conferences. So recently been to Helsinki and Hamburg. And I can pick up the phone now and speak to several mayors without having to go through gatekeepers and admin people. The most significant and the most kind of poignant, poignant thing for me is that I've worked out that I'm not actually solving a transport problem at all. I've created a remarkable re-election platform. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the ultimate result of a mayor or city leader reading and implementing the seven steps in my book is that they could get re-elected. They'll leave a lasting legacy in the town or city where they live and work. They'll be remembered for, sa for solving a problem that cost all of us, every single person in this room, time and money, and they will have a personal and a career success story. So based on following, publish, and profile, I can say that my future career looks really exciting and I'm really excited. Yeah. Thank you. So cool.